Hey guys, and welcome back to the Collector's Domain. Joseph here, bringing to you a very interesting review. So we have some big news uh, for the channel, and uh, I couldn't wait for Jen, so I'm going to be doing this alone. But um, coming this fall, 2020, we're actually going to be opening up a cafe slash board game uh, store up in our town, and so... Um, we have, I just told my job I'm going to be quitting and we're going to be moving forward with this. We already signed up with the lease. Um, <clears throat> and so now we just signed some paperwork and we're going to be working on the construction. So, uh, I'm ramping up my collection. Uh, so in the coming months, I'm going to be doing a bunch of unboxing videos and preparing for that and, uh, hopefully get a stock in because it's mostly a cafe. Uh, and we're going to have board games in there to hopefully get some, generate some interest in our town. But uh, hopefully this is something we've been wanting to do, me and my friend have been wanting to do for a really long time. And this is a really interesting video to be doing this. But, uh, <laughs> because this actually isn't a too relevant right now booster box. And this is a really random for my channel, this is just one of these new things. So I tried introducing Pokemon to my friends and they, in turn, introduced me to this TCG that's apparently been around for maybe 10 years or so, uh, and that is Vice Schwartz. It is a collectible card game based on anime, and the way they describe it is that it's you collect waifus and pit them against each other on stage. And uh, I always tend to stay away from these kind of etchy kind of games, but I'm not gonna lie, the game's adorable. Uh, the artwork is amazing, the cards are full art. So excuse me if I'm totally new to this, uh, to the player base out there. But I'm new to the game, and it's really interesting. It's definitely different. It seems like a mash between Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, and um, Pokemon. But it definitely looks cool that you have some IPs that uh, you like. So like Gurren Logan, Fate Stay Night. Um, and actually, my first deck that I actually picked up is right over here. I bought this deck pre-constructed uh, from eBay from a seller, and it's a um, Saber deck with Shiro from that saga, Unlimited Blade Works. We got some archers in there, and I just love it. These cards, arts, are, this is currently sleeved. The backs are so ugly for this game. It's just gray and black, but um, yeah, this deck I picked up, um, this, these cards are just amazing. Like, they're full edge to, art, uh, edge to edge art. They got hollows, they got rares. This game is expensive compared to like Pokemon or something where I could just pick up a whole deck on TCG player for maybe like 30, 60 bucks. This deck alone cost me like 80 bucks. But um, yeah, there are cards in these things that go for like hundreds of dollars, which is crazy. And the text on these are like more akin to Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh in the amount of text that you get. Definitely seems a little more complicated than Pokemon. So I'm going to have to try this out. I haven't actually played the game yet, but... Uh, I thought I'd pick up a deck that was already built and a couple trial decks and try those out. And this is actually a mat from Gurren Logan. That was the other set that I wanted to pick up as my starter, quote unquote, because uh, I'm not too sure where to start. So I just picked a couple shows that I liked and tried to pick up decks and items around those things. And as you can see, we're going to be doing a video on uh, Madoka Magica because this was one of my favorite animes slash movies things. So... It's a really cool, interesting game. You got these cards that are called Climaxes, which are cool. You got Warriors and you got Events. So, very cool. Another one. So, there's a bunch of IPs and each IP is like, uh, each anime is just a different booster set. So, this is cool. I'm not sure, sure how good this deck is, but we'll give it a shot. I saw it on TCG Player. I did an analysis of how much each card cost. And I trust the guy that I bought this from. So we'll test that out. Hopefully it's a good learning tool. But today's video is actually going to be an unboxing of one of these older sets. Because I picked them up for a really good deal. Like two bucks or a dollar a pack. Which is really cool. Given how expensive these booster boxes go. There's only eight cards per pack. And um, 20 packs per box. So it's a little smaller than a Pokemon booster box. But it's still super cool. Just look at this thing. So I picked up these 
really cheap on Amazon right now. This is the cheapest one that I found. And it was a series that I actually watched, so or movie that I watched. I forget if it was a movie or series. But um, I like it. So we're going to crack one of these open. I'll save the next one for Jen. I haven't told her that we found a new uh, game to play that I have lined up for us. Are you guys okay? That must have hurt a little bit. That was a tumble. Sorry about that, guys. All right, you're good. Here we go. Okay. Here, let's try that again. Uh, so let's just crack this open. I'm going to save the next one for Jen. And let's see what we get. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with this. I bought a trial deck for this. So we're going to, when that comes in, I'm going to try to upgrade it. I'm going to uh, approach it the same way that I uh, attempted to upgrade my Pokemon theme decks. Uh, and use the trial decks as a starting point. I don't know if that's a viable option. If any of you guys have played this game before, please let me know if... Give me some tips and stuff for resources I could use. That'd be really helpful. But um, let's go ahead and crack one of these open. I found another one on eBay that I'm tempted to pick up. That one's also like 30 bucks for a booster box, which is pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. The next one I definitely want to get is uh, Gurren Lagann. So what I hear in, from what I understand is that there's a chance to get a card that's signed in here. And if that's the case, that's cool. I'm going to put that to the side and save that. Um, let's use this new mat that I picked up for the game. Hopefully, uh, this will serve us for now. If these, I'm not going to lie, this mat is kind of cheap. I think it might be a promo mat or something, but it's really thin. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but I've seen people just play with these mats still in the plastic. And that's kind of weird to me, but I don't know if that's just the norm. But uh, here we go. Let's just crack this thing open. I'm not even sure where to begin. I think it's up here. There are some perforated spots. I'm not even sure. Let's go ahead and get these packs out. Ooh. And there's the box topper. Look at that. 20 packs right there. Not bad for 30 bucks. That's awesome. All right. 8 times 20, that's 160 cards. I got two booster boxes. That's 320 cards. That's pretty cool. It looks a little small, but I don't, know. I don't know if my math is wrong. But here we go. Here's a promo card. And we got Mini Kyoko. That's very cool. So every box comes with one of these promo cards. I'm not sure how good it is. So this is more of just a collection <laughs> unboxing than a real deck analysis or a booster analysis. So here we go. It looks like it's the same artwork for all the booster packs so that's cool and we got madoka herself and i forget her name but yeah this anime was great if you haven't seen it definitely check it out so i'm not sure there are perforated sides on here so maybe that's like where you crack it not gonna do it don't want to break it it's a nice box probably gonna toss it though yeah that's cool I haven't actually seen these in the shop, so I, when my friend told me about it, I was surprised. I was like, I haven't heard of that. Maybe it's really in some specialty stores, but um, yeah, let's give this a shot. Let's crack this open. How do you even open these? I really like these, though. These come from Japan. These are the English versions, but it's still really nice. All right, here we go. I'm not sure if there's a trick or anything. Again, I'm a complete noob at this. And I'm just going through this with you guys. Let's see. Is that a good spot? All right. There we go. Sayaka. We got a another ooh, Madoka. Interesting. Really nice art. Love it. I think that's what really got me into it. And then unique gameplay. There we go. We got Mommy. We got a, what are these? These come in different rarities. Uh, I guess this is uh, common. What's her name? Mm -hmm. Homura. There you go. There you go. Here's another one. That's a uncommon Madoka. Madoka's battle with Volpergisnacht. I can't even say that properly. There you go. This is the rare for the pack, I guess. Kyoko's multi-segment spear. Very cool. Here's our climax. Miracles, magic are real. Miracles and magic, miracles and magic are real. All right, that's cool. Okay, so it looks like the rare 
is the last one. Maybe I'll do that? We'll see. Because, like, you know, you have the slip trick where you put the bear as the last card. But it's okay. We'll forego that for now. There you go. Pack number two. Oh, the art on these is just great. Ooh. Stage Constructing Witch. Very cool. Magical Glero appears. Very nice. Uncommon. Uncommon. War Mommy. This is our rare and our climax. Very cool. The art on these is just phenomenal. So if you guys have any tips on how to construct a deck, please let me know. I'm starting to watch some YouTube videos, and they're really helpful and informative and well-constructed videos. So I'm sure learning it's going to be uh, a good experience. And if we have any new people watching this because of uh, Vice Schwartz uh, fans, welcome to the channel. I do a bunch of random stuff on this channel. Uh, lately been into Pokemon, so that's not going away. I'm going to be coming back to that. It's just uh, this is like an intermittent kind of break. That's cute. Sayaka. Junko. <laughs> Another Sayaka. It's nice. Homura. Mommy. Ooh, look at that one. That's uh, RR. Really <laughs> rare <laughs> is what I call it. I haven't actually picked up terminology for that yet, but that's nice. Not hollow or anything. And, ooh, love it. Pack number three or four, not sure. Pack number four. Just loving it. I have no idea what any of these cards do. I know that they come in different colors. And there's three different types of cards. Ooh, this one's nice. Here's our rare. Ultimate Madoka. Very nice. There you go. Move on to pack number five. Doka already starting to see duplicates. Let's see how many cards are in this set? Not sure. Kyoko's resolution. Now I'm wondering if it's easy to mix these uh, like crossovers. Ooh, that's a nice one. There's our rare. Sayaka looks up to mommy. Oh man, just <laughs> thinking back, looking at these pictures is just. Uh, looking at these stills is bringing me back memories of the show, of the movie. I think it was an anime. It was a short one, I think. And then there was a movie or something. Got me all depressed. But it just looks so cheery. It's so misleading. So I'm hoping that eventually they do things like... Uh, um... What is that? No Yaiba. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Uh, Demon Slayer. I hope they do something like that. Or My Hero. That would be really cool. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice one. It's uncommon. Ooh, very nice. Here's our first Homura from, uh, you know, no spoilers, alternate universe. And here's our first Hollow. Fair and beautiful Homura. Super rare. SR. Very nice. Look at that. Real nice. Yeah, we've seen that one. Very cool. I like that. Hoping to get a 
what is that called? A signature. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. Those things just look really nice. I think it's uh, from the voice actors. Ah, there's a tear. That is terrifying. I hate that. You just go right up against the card. No thank you. I've already lost track. It's too bad there aren't any, like, codes that I could be giving you guys in this video, but, uh, if you're here, I guess you're just along for the ride. And this is a new one. Supporting role, QB. QB. Bastard. Sayaka. Oops. Here's our rare. Very cool. Homero's Hidden Feelings. And our climax, so that's we've seen that one. So I think buying a pre-constructed deck for eighty bucks, which is mostly bulk lot cards, isn't uh, too terrible of a price to pay. Especially if I was to chase it like this and build a deck out of these cards. So, I don't know. How do you guys build yours? Do you build it straight out of the booster boxes like this? Oh, this one's cute. Ooh, scary. Nice. Ooh, this is nice. These are rare. Mommy in pajamas. <laughs> That's what I love about this. So you'll see characters in bikinis and stuff, and pajamas, and just random stuff. There we go. Our climax. I'm really excited to try this game out tomorrow when Jen comes in, and I'm pretty sure my Cinderella Girls pack is coming in at the same time. It's either that or Sword and Shield. So yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more of it. Try to do more relevant things. I'm just working my way through the old stuff. Just as an introduction. Oh, that's a new one. Sayaka's Wish. Very nice. Level 2. That's another new one. Here's Homura. That's our rare. And our climax. Oh, it's so sad. She looks so scared. Wow, we got a lot to go through. I didn't realize this was going to be another long video. The box is so small, I didn't expect this much of a stack to go through. Like, I knew there were 20 in here, but just going through them. Dang. There we go. I don't even know where to put this stuff. Is this better? I don't know. I'm running out of room in this room. Aw. Uncommon. Ooh, and there's our RR for this one. Uh, regular rare. Really rare? Not sure. That's nice. I've, uh, this is on one of the box art. This card's on the box art, and I really wanted that. It's really cool looking. There's our climax. I just like the theme of it, putting everybody on the stage in the different areas. You got waiting areas, you got clocking. Super cool. Too many games to be playing, too many TCGs going on at the same time. I'm gonna be dangerous. I'm gonna be broke before I even get this shop running. Yeah, I think mommy's my favorite. Got the best artwork. Cube. There it is. That's our rare. And another one. I think this is like our third or fourth. We probably have a full play set of these. is a new one at least for us Ooh, that's definitely a new one oh i remember this you guys remember this scene oh. that's another new one grief seed and here's our rare and our climax i'm gonna have to get a binder for these i wonder if they're the same size 
as a standard. I'm not quite sure. They feel a little different though. Oh, I just love this foil. Okay. Hopefully I don't get into Yu-Gi-Oh. I've been trying to stay away from that for a long time, but my friends are in it. But I hate it. I've seen a couple videos and I just couldn't do it. I literally watched a guy take his first turn for 10 minutes just chaining cards and then his buddy that he was playing with just ended up scooping up turn one. It was pretty pretty terrible to watch. And there it is. Really rare for this one. Looks nice. And oh, this is my favorite climax from this set so far. Poor Homura. Yeah, if you get like one of those signature cards, those things go for like money. Like, you can't, I can't, even the accessories are way too much for this game. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep this up. Ooh, QA. <laughs> Look at that, really ominous right there. Incubator. Oof. Yeah, this, this anime gave me chills. Oh, there's our rare for the pack. And that's new. New Climax for that. Yeah, I'd really like to have a deck built out of this. So if you guys could help suggest me which cards I should be using. Or what kind of strategies I should be going for. Really help. No, we got Mommy. Madoka. Homura. Sayaka. Ooh, that's a new one. That's cool. What is that? Sweets Witch Charlotte. And there's our uncommon. There's our rare. And a new climax. Cool. Don't know what it does. We're getting there. Uh, five packs left. Oh, I hate the sack opening. Ooh, this looks like a new one. That's definitely a new one. Oh no, 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 we have that. I'm gonna have to get a new binder for these guys. Definitely want to show this off. This is definitely new. Meaningless chain. Oh, this thing got dark real quick. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is our rare Sayaka. Level one. Okay. Nothing too terribly exciting yet. Getting near the end. Save the best for last, of course. Yeah, I think I picked up uh, Fairy Garden too. So in Tonto Quarry. So I want to try those out with my friends because they're really into anime. So I thought I'd pick up a couple for them. Couple different things. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's a new one. So cute. Madoka. Oh, and that's our rare for the pack. Madoka's saying swaying feelings. And there. I know this is used in a lot of videos whenever they're talking about climaxes on YouTube. Okay. We're down to our last three, guys. There you go. Again, sorry for the format. It's a little weird with the angle in this video. Hopefully it's okay. We'll see you post-production. Ooh, look at that. Mermaid Witch. Scary. And that's our really rare for this. There you go. And one I don't think we've seen yet. We're down to our last two. Dang, that is a fat stack, guys. I'm definitely going to be able to make something out of this. Got it, right? Let's 
yeah, we're going to be opening up a shop. And it's going to be called Kulu Desserts. Make sure you check that out. Coming fall to Jersey. Oh, that's a nice one. There's our rare. And our climax. Dopa using her arrow. So cute. And our last pack, guys. What are we going to get? I don't know. I've had fun with this one. Definitely new. Nice to break into something new, you know? There's our rare. Saika fights for others. And our last climax was a mommy. There you go. Alright, well, we didn't pull anything too crazy, it looks like, but I definitely had fun. Uh, we got this one hollow foil for this pack. That is some hard pulls for this set. I wonder if it's going to be like this for the next one, but hopefully it'll be different. But there you go, that's a fat stack. That's 160 cards right there. Going to try to build something out of that. Uh, this has been one of the longer videos, but uh, if you guys stuck around, thanks for that. If you like what you've seen, uh, please subscribe, leave a comment below, whatever. Hit the dislike button, like button, whatever makes you feel happy. Guys, this is Joseph signing out, and I'll catch you next time. And in part two, we're going to be going through this box, probably with Jen. And uh, hopefully we'll get some gameplay. Um, that's something that we've been wanting to try. Uh, thanks again, guys. We'll catch you around. Peace. Thank you.